The creator doesn't have a possibility to do what uh, we need to do, of course. He can't do the job. Why? Because uh, then uh, we wouldn't be able to sense what he wants us to sense. Then uh, we wouldn't be consist of two parts of nature simultaneously, the stool and receiving. receiving. It's uh, when only due to opposition of the stool and receiving we, uh, we attain him. Like, like the light in the dark, like everything else is perceived due to the contrast in the comparison to its opposite. But why is that, uh, if there is none else besides him, why can't he accomplish that thing which he himself created, the program? Because if we don't go through all these tentative stages of our development, it's when we collect. You say, wouldn't it be nice to leap to the final destination when we consists of two opposites in nat opposite nature and then we will sense something we don't we, we won't sense anything in that case the sensation consists of accumulation of sensations in recognition of opposites and uh, in their unity meaning when I know that this is darkness and that one is light simultaneously I can sense one against the other deriving from their multiple contra contradictions and then I consist of huge number of sensations and knowledges by co correlating them by evoking them from my memory all kinds of uh, their combinations and based on that I become capable of uh, uh, sensing what is opposite of me. Only if I myself accumulate all these sensations in me, I myself live through them. I myself, uh, how can I put it? I myself experience them no other way it's impossible to convey it there are many smart answers and questions but all of them don't really explain anything because uh, while a person is still not in it in the sensation of what it means what means light against the darkness he doesn't understand what it is at all because we are immersed in a different shades of the same egoistic quality, in different shades of it. In fact, there is no light in our world at all, but there are different egoistic qualities, lesser or greater, but they only are different by its egoism, but not comparing to something that is opposite to it. Therefore, there is nothing to compare to. We, li we live only uh, in egoistic qualities. Let's say from 100%, though we don't know it, we are far from it, and to its zero. But in fact, we are in a very shallow area of egoism, puddle in, a, in it, sort of. That's all. We can't descend lower because there are such great egoistic desires which just scare us off because we would have to exert so much effort to realize them. Therefore, we live off on, of a tiny ego. The day has passed, so it's good. That's our life. How is it possible to install into a program? For instance, people always try to create artificial intelligence which could make decisions and which would be equal to a human. The Creator has created creation and gave it this magical free will. How is it possible at all to give such quality which uh, uh, gives uh, like independence and at the same time it's not programmed like choice of decisions and that freedom 
That quality is built by a person gradually. In fact, it doesn't exist in nature. This is when a person begins to work on himself so he can exit himself toward others and then he acquires free, his free will. Meaning the freedom, in fact, is not a freedom to do what I want, but it's a freedom from, from your ego. It's not a freedom to be between egoism and altruism, between bestowal and reception. No, it's a freedom to be in love and bestowal. Meaning, it, 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 it's, not, it's not according to how we understand it, that I, I do what I want, freedom of action. The, these and those, whatever I want. No. This is no freedom in that. There is no freedom in that. What I'm asking about is the quality itself, the, uh, the quality, the quality that uh, does what, does what, uh, like artificial intelligence, intelligence. It can't exist on its own. It has a program, everything is installed in it, and it can professionally calculate everything, but all that is installed in him, in it, and it will never have independence in making a decision, the possibility, well, just a program, simply a program. So, so how are we different from such artificial intelligence? How are we different from that program? What is it uh, in, in us install so that we can realize ourselves and how is it possible at all? Except for light, we have everything. Light is the force of love and bestowal, which we don't have initially, and which, in case when it affects us, evokes in us its qualities, and we become its carrier. We become possessors of another force, Besides the one we have, the egoistic one, the force of reception, a new force appears in us for a quality of bestowal. So it turns that in any case we are programmed, of course. Programmed completely. Like when my teacher looked at me, he saw my entire future. Well, messing, messing can't com compete here. <laughs> but but what, where, where is this sensations, experience, like that you have attained yourself and not that the Creator put you to the state so that you would experience it, uh, the one you are describing. But that's, uh, and how are you experience what you experience right now? What, are you not in that mechanism right now? I don't understand you. Aren't you in the same matrix right now? Aren't you in? The, aren't you being played with right now? And you and to you it feels that you are experiencing. You're free and you do what you want. And you're being twisted around, force you here to lie, to do something else. Here's some dirty trick. Here's some good deed. And and you are twisted around just like that, that to pass you through different states and thus mold you molding you different sensations so you can analyze things get get a, as a result to get a cute feeling of them and as a result of would gain experience and could be uh, conscious con conscious of un understanding of who and what the reality uh, the ready to be ready for free will but if we take you for example, you lived and lived and, and certain quality opened up in you and you began to develop. So you evolved, you were with Kabbalists, the greatest Kabbalists uh, of all time, to achieve a certain point and now from this point at, your, at which you currently are, when you retrospect, when did these experiences give you? What did these experience, experiences give you? What did, what did they reveal? What, uh, what qualities so that you can comprehend the cre Creator now? They gave me an opportunity of um, clear objective detachment from myself, understanding of uh, opposite quality, 
of love and bestowal relatively gave me attainment of the system of the creation of relations and uh, to the degree I can properly uh, use, realize these uh, relations, it gave me capability to control my destiny, to lead myself, meaning to, to attract this higher force constantly, uh, constantly uh, improve myself under its influence, consciously, knowingly, anti-egoistically with efforts that I'm trying to uh, evoke in me. And if this realization would be instilled in you without going through these states, just like uh, if it was given to you artificially, you know, no, I wouldn't be able to sense them. There is no one wiser than uh, the one with experience. There is uh, none who could sense them if uh, he didn't suffer them through gradually. It's impossible. It's just like if you uh, take a small child, like uh, I flew to Europe recently with, uh, with my grandson, who is four. So he, uh, uh, he flew on a plane. For him, of, co of course, he doesn't know. For him, for him, it's some huge steel bird which goes zzz, zzz, makes noise and and all. But that, uh, what does he understand in it? But if a person went through all that, suffered through it, learned it, knew how and what, all of it, for him, it's a completely different thing. He doesn't understand that he goes up in the in the air. What's air? What's oxygen? Why is it so? Does it have to be like that? It's impossible to pass it on to anyone. You need to live through all of that. In fact, we think that it's just an experience, but it's not. It's a development in us a capability to sense those uh, phenomena which uh, we wouldn't be able to sense. How is an adult different from a small child? By the fact that an adult has lots of experience, meaning big, big accumulation of masses of data, sen sensual, mental, which a child doesn't have. If we took all that and put all that into a child, like you asking, we would take all and would fill him up completely. Would he would he be able to be like an adult? He wouldn't be able to put all that data, like what an what a thirty years old adult would have into a two year old child. You wouldn't be able to because for that you would need twenty years. The program needs to be filled gradually, like in a computer as well. Sometimes I get some uh, somebody to install such programs on my computer, which takes maybe an hour to do that. 40 minutes, 20 minutes, why? What's the problem? You just bam, do it like that, like an injection in the back. No, it has to reformat itself, erase, remove, reboot, and God knows what else. I don't know much about it. But you know better. You know them better. That's how it works. 20 years until a person grows. Why? Because otherwise he can't boot himself. He has to feel them out. In a computer it's okay. There are no feelings. It's just billions of operations. Zeros and ones. But here a person needs to feel it out. Collect it all. Con contrast it, compare it to something in the past, and all that, the fantasies, inten intentions, mistakes, everything is included in here. All that is the one whole program, and this is a huge partition of it, of which is called the error mistakes of past, huge partition of fantasies, successes, failures, these kinds of that kind, sensual, social, personal, family-related, and so on. 
can you can you imagine what is being loaded into a person a person is being loaded with the world which a, a child doesn't have huge area creation in which I an adult exist and now you're asking how could we take that adult and would insert a uh, a syringe into him make a shot into one private spot and uh, and that's that with it and just like in the sci-fi movie he would all of a sudden be like oh -ho! and done deal he is in the upper world there is no such thing it's impossible he has to experience that he has to store all of it in him to do this upgrade everything to reboot he has to live through, live through these states to feel them out. Besides, with all the opposites in attempts to do on his own without the creation creator, with the creator, with particular uh, environment or without it to fail, to rise up, and so on. On each level, on each given obstacle, and from many, many such st steps, billions of steps, there is a. Uh, there's created in a person the possibility, only yet the possibility, to begin to feel another state, another creation. And he enters that sensation gradually. Ah. And it opens up that sensation, which wasn't there before. And it exists here and how and now, but in a different dimension. And now this dimension is being revealed. You see? So, for it to be, to begin to unveil, I need to create in me huge internal reserves, possibilities, sensations, accumulations of different feelings, thoughts, everything. I begin to enter the sensation of new relations, new world. I see it completely differently. I see its opposite sides from which it's being controlled, how it wor how it all works and my world becomes small. I enter the control system and it becomes important. And this entire our world with its interactions of ours, these animal, small, instinctive, they, uh, they simply lose its importance. And, 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 and they sort of don't exist, they gradually go away. I have my animal body with its interrelation with others, temporary, for time being, to communicate with others through it, to help them, and also to help them enter uh, this new world, this new dim dimension. And that's it, and as soon as, as we all detach from this field, from our field on which we are all fed like little animals and uh, through our senses enter this new state, new dimension, then uh, this corporeal world simply disappears. Even now it doesn't exist like uh, like everything else. In our, it only exists in our mind. It's not material. It's only in our mind and our mind rises to that new level completely and along with it with this area of new human relationships the level of inanimate vegetative uh, and animal sensations also rise meaning our entire world and that is impossible to do like that at once to make a shot and a person then uh, some kind of injection and a person is in another dimension. The, bra the program has gradually, has to gradually enter up to be uh, adapted by us. We have to accept it, feel it out, unite with it, to feel ourselves to be it, like one unit. And that requires gradual adaptation into this program, unenforced. And it is opposite to our egoistic nature, meaning uh, it, it requires work.